today we're going to teach y'all how to properly install the drain line to an air conditioning system. All right, uh, we're going to use this way uh, and only this way because uh, we're going to teach you the right, correct way to do it. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and review what material we're going to need to run the condensate line. All right, so uh, what Aaron has in hand right now is a three-quarter PVC pipe. Okay. Our, our other fittings you'll use will be the P-trap, okay? Um, we'll have the uh, male adapter. Yes, three of them. We have the three-quarter T. We have a three-quarter coupling, and that's to use to conjoin the uh, PVC pipes together. And we have the three-quarter 90, all right? And also the three-quarter cap, which to cap off any drain lines that we need, need to be uh, using to cap off. And lastly, we have our safety device for our secondary line. Uh, this is called an SS2, all right? Uh, we install these every install that we do, uh, so we don't have to run a secondary drain line. So let's go ahead and get started with everything. So first thing we need to do, uh, also to remember, you need your PVC primer and your PVC glue uh, because we have to glue every joint in there. If we do not glue and prime every joint, then you it can have issues with water coming out those joints. And also to for those. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. So uh, first, what we need to do is go ahead and put our adapters on there. So how do we know which one's the primary drain line and which one's the secondary drain line? Uh, the easiest way to look at it is to look at it or to feel. So if you put your fingers in there, if it's nice and clear, that will be your primary drain line. If you put your fingers in the other one and you feel like there's a restriction or something blocking it, that will be your secondary drain line. So it's very initial to know which one's your primary and which one's your secondary. Uh, because if you have to go back for a drain issue because you put it on a secondary line, that's just an easy mistake, guys, okay? Uh, we can definitely fix that on a callback. So uh, feel and look which one's your primary, which one's your secondary. So now we determine our right one is our primary, so we're going to go ahead and put the mill adapter on that primary line. All right, so now we put the mill adapter on the primary drain line, okay? Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the mill adapter on the secondary drain line. The SS2 does come with its own adapter, okay? Uh, but by passing code, we actually have to glue these together. And as you can see right here, say if we have to take this apart, there's no way to cut this and get remove this from the system. Now we have to get a brand new SS2. So we actually want to uh, use a regular uh, three-quarter mil adapter and not the adapter that comes with your SS2, okay? And you'll know why later on in the video. So let's go ahead and get started with our primary line. Uh, so we want to go ahead and attach all the parts on there. So say if our drain line is coming out this way right here. So we want to connect it from here to there, all right? And you always want to dry fit everything first, okay guys? Uh, because if you dry fit it, if you make a mistake, that's okay, you can fix it. They can take it apart and get it done correctly. But if you go ahead and prime and glue it, you can't take it apart. You have to reuse. Now you have to reuse brand new uh, uh, fittings on it. All right. So Aaron now put a 90, so we can turn the drain line, and he also put a T. Okay. Uh, the reason you put a T is you want a blowout for your drain line. Okay. Another key right here. Yep. We're just going to turn it for y'all so y'all can see how it's going to go. Uh, most time it's going to go that way, but we're just going to demonstrate on how uh, it's going to flow on there. Okay. 
So as you can see right here, back up a little bit. So as you can see right here, you want to have this T in line with the P-trap. So now you can go ahead and uh, put a blowout on here. Uh, the purpose for a blowout is, say if you need to clean out the uh, PVC P-trap. So now you can actually clean it out, okay? Uh, you can use uh, nitrogen or you can take a little uh, scrubber to go completely all the way through there, push any debris right here out the system, okay? Uh, so that's one reason why we actually have a blowout right here. All right, so this is uh, actually a flow, helps the water flow down there a lot more easier uh, by gravity. So that's the reason why we put another T at the end of the trap. So when there's air, there's air right here, and it'll help the water flow down the drain line a lot more easier. Okay, guys? So basically, that is all you need to know to hook up the PVC pipe, okay? Uh, also, too, you want to make sure this is secure. Uh, every five feet, this has to be secure, okay? Uh, so make sure if it's a lot longer right here, you want to put supports along there. Uh, the best bet is you can do it every three feet. So remember that in your nose, just do it every three feet and you're good to go. Uh, because the farther you do, uh, you have more chance of bowing up, okay? Uh, if you have every three feet, you got a nice straight line and you have zero chance of bowing up. And if the system does bow up for you, it's actually going to back feet into the system and shut off your SS2. Uh, so we want this straight as possible in a downward slope, okay? Uh, so the degree on that is what, a uh, quarter every three feet? So a quarter inch every three feet on that. So this is exactly how it's supposed to be run for your primary drain line, okay? So what do you want to glue and prime? So you always want to prime everything on here except for your blowout. Okay, you want to leave this completely open, all right? Uh, water's not going to go above here because this is a lot higher than your primary drain line. So you don't have to worry about it overflowing this point right here. So all you have to do is just put the cap on here and that. Uh, the reason for that is because you want to have room to blow that out, all right? So you can clean it completely out that way but not going to spark right here. But you want to prime your PVC. You want to prime the, uh, so let's take this off. So now we already dry fit it and we want to prime and glue everything. So to prime and glue, you want to go ahead and prime the inside of your fitting and prime the outside of your PVC that, that's going to be connected in here. Once you uh, prime that, you want to go ahead and glue that. So once you go ahead and uh, put glue around here, just stick it in here. A lot of times too, you might have to hold it for a couple seconds because it might push, want to push out. So you want to nice hold it for a couple seconds so you see a nice grip and it's not moving outwards. So once you do that, uh, then you go ahead and prime everything else out too though, okay? Uh, I find it easier to just go ahead and prime everything, okay? then go back and glue everything so you don't have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So uh, the best thing is go ahead and prime everything, all right? Once you prime everything, uh, then you can go ahead and glue everything. But if you want to take it piece by piece, you can do that as well, too. Uh, the key thing is we want to do it as fast as possible, uh, but we always want to make sure you do everything correct on there, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at our SS2, okay? How are we going to run that as well? So. As we can see, if we glue this part into our SS2, we're going to have an issue with it if we have to remove the coil, okay? So if we glue that, we can't, if we cut this off, we can't use it no more. All right, so now uh, we want to get rid of the adapter that that SS2 comes with and put a regular three-quarter adapter in there like we did so. And we want to go ahead and prime and glue this. Give it some room and just put the SS2 at the very end of that, okay? So now, if we ever have to come back to this unit right here, we can now cut it, turn it, remove it, turn it off, and reuse the same SS2, okay? Uh, so you want to do this on every install now, okay, guys? Just in case that we have to come back and mess with this coil, we can actually disconnect it and use the same parts for it, all right? I do appreciate it, and again, if y'all have any questions, contact your supervisor and your manager, all right?